240 words. I'm home on a lunch break, and there's no one here. That's a good thing, though, because I live alone. <laughs> this is an old apartment, and it still smells like the 20s. There's lead in the walls, so the air sinks. The windows face north into a courtyard squared by buildings on all sides. The garden below is doing its best to be Pacific Northwest in June. The giant oak is a black squawking cloud of birds. It's 30 feet high and full of 100 beaks, but I'm not good with numbers. All I wanted was a sandwich. There's a crow caught in the frame of the sliding door on the back porch of the penthouse across from me. It looks like an impossible way to be stuck. The crow's foot is somehow wedged in the framework and it's flopping and barking like it doesn't want to die. It's going to die though, and I'm not going to call animal control. There's nothing they can do anyway. I'm not cruel, I don't think. I just want to eat my sandwich and go back to work. When you're a bank teller, you see crows die on your neighbor's porch all the time. You do your best to tune out the giant oak and carry on. It takes six years to write 240 words about something that could have never happened. That was probably the death of me. 